Troy linebacker Javon Solomon, Caden, is a player that I think has the highest ceiling of perhaps any Sunbelt prospect. I mentioned Rasheen Ali earlier, but I think due to Rasheen Ali's injury, I think Javon Solomon might have the highest ceiling heading into April's NFL draft. He was an all Sunbelt performer uh, for the third time in his career this year. It was the second time he's had first team honors. Leads the Sunbelt in sacks with 16 this year and finished the year with 16 sacks, 18 TFLs. And Caden, what a career it's been for Javon Solomon. 33 sacks, 49 and a half TFLs. I know you and I have got a chance to stand next to him before and he looks the part uh, of an NFL player, but PFF graded him amongst the best edge rushers in the Sun Belt this year. His grade was sitting at just over 90. Uh, he had his best game in a huge game, and that was in the championship game. Two and a half TFLs, two sacks. He had two forced fumbles, a fumble recovery uh, against App State in that Sun Belt championship game. And Kaden Javon, much like his teammate Kamani Vidal, who we spoke about earlier on in this episode, is another guy that the scouts just rave about his character and the type of person. I know we can echo that uh, in terms of who he is as an individual. Uh, he had a nice senior bowl with a pair of tackles and I think a, a good combine here, some good strength and good play against some of these other people uh, could go a, a really long way in helping Javon Solomon's draft stock. Yeah, no, you mentioned it with the high ceiling. I mean, this guy is a bona fide and certified pass rusher. You don't lead the nation with 16 tack sacks by accident. He has a very interesting frame. This guy's only six feet tall, 247 pounds at the senior bowl. He was kind of the shortest and lightest defensive lineman, but we know he plays that edge position and that edge position just comes with a lot of body type shapes and sizes. He has an 80 inch wingspan and he's extremely explosive and he used that to his advantage at the senior bowl. He had an amazing burst off the football, which impressed scouts, which was kind of a question going into the league, but he used his side and speed size and speed to his advantage all week at the senior bowl he won a ton of one-on-one -on -one reps against a lot of the best offensive tackles in the nation and guys who are just let's admit this is an amazing tackle class and he did some really good stuff against those guys winning reps with his speed and his finesse and at the next level it's looking like he'll be a specialty and situational pass rusher but i think with certain drills in the combine he'll have the potential to show that he might have every down potential and be able to fit in the scheme of a defense who maybe asks a little bit more of him outside of just rushing the quarterback on a third down if he can do some linebacker drills show some different coverage abilities this could be a guy at the combine who could really raise his stock by showing some more versatility and every down ability when it comes to playing at the next level so i don't really see him being an, just an effective run stopper when it comes to being in the nfl but i think his floor is just a toolsy explosive edge rusher that's going to give any kind of defensive or offensive tackle rather problems and i'm just super excited to see where he fits in the league and if he can continue to raise his stock and raise that ceiling at the next level yeah, Kane, I think that there is definitely a spot uh, in the NFL for Javon Solomon because of that unique uh, elements of size and speed. He's got an interesting body type that I think uh, could play really well. And Caden, even if he only ends up being a third down guy who's rushing the quarterback, uh, he's still probably going to be good for five plus sacks per year. I just think he's he's that elite at his ability uh, to get past offensive lines and get to the quarterback. So I think that'll be interesting. Mel Kuyper, speaking to kind of what you have said, likes the upside here. And you know, as you mentioned, he is kind of being looked at as an outside linebacker heading into the league. Mel Kuyper's got him as his 10th best outside linebacker in this class. And I said it earlier, I think he's probably has the highest ceiling uh, in this Sunbelt draft class outside of someone like uh, Rasheen Ali when he's healthy. Um, but, you know, as of right now, it feels like he's got the chance to be the highest draft pick in the Sunbelt, maybe an early day three guy, which would be uh, you know, mid to late fourth round. Uh, but I do think by mid day three, you're probably going to see uh, Javon Solomon picked by an NFL team and uh, probably will have a, a good career in the NFL moving forward.